That is poison ivy. I would stay away from that. The poison ivy is out in profusion, and that is probably the most common plant-related exposure we see in this part of the world. Anything with three kind of ovoid leaves like that that's either on the ground or it can be kind of climbing ivy, uh, so it might be going up a tree or something. I just say stay away from <laughs> I'm Michael Hodgman. I'm one of the uh, medical toxicologists at the Upstate New York Poison Center. I think the most important thing is, is if you're going to be out on a, tr you know, off of a trail, wear long pants, socks, shoes, and those should be washed because it's the resin that, if you touch your shoe and you can spread that resin to your arm or your face, and you can develop a rash in places that you didn't even know you may have had contact. Well, we can provide advice on symptomatic management of poison ivy, and in most cases, that's all that's necessary. See how the leaves are on that. A number of the other plant, plants that we consider poisonous, they're poisonous because we ingest them. But if you're foraging plants, that's where you really, uh, we don't recommend it. Uh, that's something that should only be done who's, with somebody who's very comfortable at identifying the plant they're picking. One thing that we saw in 2020 was a very large increase in the number of calls that we had in terms of foraging misadventures compared to the previous several years. When we looked at the numbers from 2020, we found that there were essentially double the number of calls between March to May that we had for questions regarding plant toxicity compared to each of the previous five years. I think a lot of what happened was because people had extra time during the pandemic, there was not a lot that they could do inside and uh, they were looking for things to do. A lot of people were going out and trying to forage to look for various edible forms of plant life. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't have a lot of experience in this and as a result, we did see a number of increased calls for potential toxicity from those. If you do get sick from eating something, if you have a specimen of it, take it with you. It can be very helpful in uh, the, the healthcare personnel in the emergency department or even us at the Poison Center, if they send us a photo, it can really help us in kind of sorting out what the exposure might have been. Always be cautious. If you don't know what it is, I wouldn't touch it and I certainly wouldn't eat it.